Try and get you guys a shot of what we're doing here. We are down in the floor of a Volvo A40 FS truck. So the A40 is uh, it's a 40 ton F model and the FS just means full suspension. Anyway, this is a hydraulically driven water pump for all these coolers and stuff back here because the engine water pump doesn't have enough flow for the engine and all the coolers. Anyway, this has a plastic impeller. It is not flowing. So we're gonna yard all this stuff off and replace that. All right, we're just right above the transmission. <clears throat> all you guys have missed is I took these three bolts out. One, two, one back over here you can't see. Take this little half clamp stuff off for this blue hose. And we've loosened up all of our clamps. So we got this clamp loose, this one here. Also the back side in case we need to swivel the whole hose out of the way. This clamp here, we're gonna yard this out of the way. And then I need to clean this real well. We got one more hose clamp right here. And then I've never done this job before, so we're gonna figure it out together. Uh, but we'll have to see what else we gotta take off. But this is what we're changing out. We got that green hard line out of the way. Little trick on these hoses, guys. Try to twist the hose on whatever it's mounted to. It'll break the seal, and that'll make it easier for you to uh, pull it off there. If you just go to pulling on it, you're probably gonna tear the hose. But this one's being stubborn. We have to get a seal uh, hose pick on it. But sometimes you just give them a twist, they'll pop, and then they, they kind of slide freely on the on the nipple there that they go on to. We had to break out the hose pick. Got that hose off, though. <clears throat> we'll just continue on. We're going to take this hose off now. And then I'm not real sure what has to happen next. Have to probably clean all this off of here. See what we got as far as bolts or mounting or whatever. We took this elbow off right here to back there check this out never seen nothing like this it's like this part goes on first and then your clamp goes on not sure if that's just for more more clamping or I just never seen nothing like that at first I thought the hose clamp was broken but that just must be a Volvo thing well here it is guys it's an 18 on the bottom 19 on top this is the water pump this is the hydraulic motor that drives it so now we know what we have to take off in the cab i think there's a coupler maybe a keyway something in here we'll have to check that out so we we'll have to be careful we pull this apart we got our bolts loose you can't get the our nuts off i mean you can't get the bolt all the way out it doesn't just pull off though so we're gonna have to persuade it a little bit so i'll mess around with this and bring you guys back once we make some progress bolt right here for the impeller it goes all the way through and threads into there so remember to take that out in the future it's a T45 check it out guys my old friend came to visit his name is over torqued this is an M12 by 1.75 thread pitch bolt Max torque on that bolt is somewhere around 60 foot-pounds. Maybe a little more if it's zinc plated or something like that. But I can guarantee you it is not 200. Uh, but anyway, we won this battle. Just wanted to show you guys my friend came to visit. Quick update guys. We got pulled off of this job about, I don't know, four hours ago. It's something that was a higher priority. Where's that water pump? And you have to take this little cover off right here. There's two bolts that thread in from the bottom, 14 millimeter. Uh, anyway, we got the pump loose, it's wiggling around. But like I said, we got pulled off. Let's go put out a different fire. Well, here's where we're at, guys. It's the next day, I got pulled off this job. Another job, higher priority. Went down, out in the cut. Anyway, there's our water pump right there. You take this little cover off, and you can get in. There's two bolts right here closest to me. It's a real tight squeeze, though, between the tire and the frame. Anyway, you gotta get those two bolts out. They're 14 millimeter, they thread in from the bottom. Now the water pump's loose, we're gonna go in the cab, wrestle it out of there. All right guys, we got that water pump off. We'll talk about it real quick with you. So they got an O-ring right in there between this plastic and the casing. That O-ring, and it's also on the inside here. 
So that's what's going to keep it sealed on the impeller itself. It's almost like a bearing, but it's like spring loaded. So having this bolted down is going to keep pressure on that plastic right there, which will keep the pressure on the O-ring apparently. And then here's the top half. It's got an O-ring right there. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to go back together with this one. We're going to mount this part first. Then we'll slide the impeller on because that was the front part. Was prying. It had to pry it off the shaft because it, it goes on right there. Such a tight fit. And of course, you see the clean spot where it's been riding and you got all that grime and stuff that you're trying to plow through as you come apart with it. So let's go back together with it. Got all of our bolts loosely mounted. We're just going to run them all down between the tire and the frame here. I don't know what you guys can see. It's tight quarters in here. Anyway, run those down. We'll go back inside the cab there, and then we'll work the rest of it from in there. All right, we got her mounted. This bolt here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a bolt over there. That one was particularly fun. Now we're going to put the impeller on line up that keyway. We've got our bolt that goes right down through the middle of it to put pressure on this seal, which is spring loaded. And that's gonna keep it sealed. Got that impeller on there. Kinda had to beat it down in there a little bit, like just nice and easy. Kinda persuade it. Once I got it deep enough that I could get the bolt started, put the bolt in there, tighten it up, get some tension on it, and then lightly tap it and just keep doing that. Once it got about a third of the way down, I was able to just run it the rest of the way down with the bolt. So, continue the reassembly. I'm gonna put this on now. <clears throat> and then we'll hook up all of our hoses and start feeling cooler. One more thing, guys, we got our bracket on here. These three bolts, these are what's gonna put tension on the impeller and keep it pushed down. So you don't wanna just run these down. You wanna run them down evenly so that it tightens it up squarely, like putting a tire on a car. You want it to have even pressure. So don't just go crazy and run these down with an impact and call it good. It'll probably get all crooked and start leaking. All right, guys, you haven't missed much. We've got bleeders like this. These are the only two that's kind of like brakes. Bleed the air out of the cooling system. If I feel these hard lines, they're not really getting warm. You tap on them. This one's empty. There's those bleeders I was talking about. You just push this down. Bleed air out. This right here is the one that's giving us the trouble at the moment. So we just gotta keep doing that. Monitor our cool level in the reservoir. And we're also monitoring the temp gauge of the engine. We have a bunch of these all over the truck. This little metal piece, you plug it in there, and that'll that depresses the bleeder to let air and stuff out. So we're just following around, trying to keep bleeding air. We're starting to get somewhere now. 